Feuds on Friday, intense rivalry was seen among the Security Council members regarding humanitarian aid operation in Syria, Russia, and China, which are permanent members of uh, the Security Council. They twice vetoed a resolution tabled by Germany and Belgium. Now, of course, what is the reason behind this uh, intense confrontation between Russia and China on one side and other permanent and uh, non-permanent members of the Security Council on the other side? Your uh, humanitarian aid operation to Syrian refugees it has been continuing for almost six years. In 2014, this operation was started by the UN and the purpose of this mission is to provide humanitarian assistance to uh, Syrian refugees, mostly in Idlib and Aleppo regions. Firstly, viewers, uh, there were more than five border crossings between Turkey and Syria. Uh, then Syria and Iraq, Syria and Jordan. Through these border crossings, humanitarian assistance uh, of the UN was provided to Syrian refugees. But Russia and China, they have always been critical of this uh, humanitarian aid operation. They are of this view that all humanitarian assistance to Syrian refugees must be provided through the government of Bashar al-Assad. So at the start of this year, uh, border crossing between Syria and Jordan, Syria and Iraq, they were closed. Uh, then we would, uh, for the last six months, only two border crossings are open between Turkey and Syria. Babu Salam and Babu al-Hawa. Babu Salam is between uh, uh, Turkey and uh, Aleppo regions and uh, Babul Hawa is between uh, Turkey and Idlib regions. So these two border crossings are open for the, late, uh, for the last six months and humanitarian aid is being supplied uh, by the UN through these two border crossings. Now this uh, Security Council meeting was held on Friday and the purpose of this meeting was to extend the humanitarian aid operation through these two border crossings for the next year. Russia objected. Uh, Russia and China, they vetoed this resolution by Germany and Belgium to continue uh, humanitarian aid operation through these two Babu Salam and Babu Hawa border crossings. Uh, three times uh, voting was held. Ultimately, last time, uh, Russia and uh, China, they abstained from voting and a new resolution was drafted. Now only one border crossing has been left open between Turkey and Syria and this border crossing is Babul Hawa between uh, Turkey and uh, Syria's uh, Idlib region. Uh, so, more than 3 million refugees are in Syria, in Aleppo and Idlib regions. So now when one border crossing of Babul, uh, Babu Salam has been closed, uh, this humanitarian aid operation to Syrian refugees, it will be disturbed. So Syrian refugees who are near this uh, Babu Salam uh, border crossing, they will be affected by the closing of this border crossing. We the Russia and uh, Russian allies, they believe that Bashar al-Assad government is the uh, legitimate government of Syria and all aid must be supplied through this uh, Bashar al-Assad government and they also believe that uh, in the past uh, opponents of uh, Bashar al-Assad they have been supported through these humanitarian aid operations and these aid operations were basically meant to uh, back uh, the opposition groups in Syria. So that is why they think that the aid should be supplied through the government of uh, Bashar al-Assad. News that shows that Russia's influence is uh, increasing in Syria. Even Turkish influence is decreasing there. Turkey and Russia, though they are conducting joint patrols in Idlib, Syria, 
but Americans, they are almost out of this Id Idlib side. Uh, they are uh, in alignment with uh, Syrian Kurds, but not here in Idlib area. So Russians, they are gradually expanding their influence in Syria, just like in Libya. Uh, this American withdrawal from Syria, I think it left a vacuum which has been filled by Russia and Russia is now spreading its influence here day by day. Thank you for watching.